of this. Baseline studies are important to the environmental impact assessment process. They typically involve collecting and analyzing data on various aspects of environment that may be potentially affected by the proposed project. Hello, my name is Shalin Verma and today we will look at the relevance of baseline study needed before the EIA process. A baseline study refers to a comprehensive assessment of an area's existing environmental conditions and characteristics that may be potentially affected by a proposed project. The relevance of baseline study cannot be overstated. It can guide the project proponent in the decision making, help ensure compliance with the regulatory bodies and help minimize any adverse impacts on the environment and local communities. Such study establish a clear understanding of natural and human systems to identify potential environmental, social and economic impacts that result from the project. A baseline study serves several crucial functions such as establishing a comprehensive understanding of the existing environmental conditions. Baseline studies provide a comprehensive assessment of the project area's existing environmental conditions and characteristics including natural and human systems. This understanding is necessary for identifying the potential impact of the proposed project. Next is providing a reference point to the impact assessment. With a clear understanding of existing environmental conditions, it becomes easier to determine the magnitude and significance of the potential effect of a project. Next is identifying the potential environmental, social and economic impacts. So, baseline study identifies the potential impacts on the natural, social and economic environment that may arise from the project. This information is critical for developing appropriate mitigation measures to avoid or minimize the project's adverse impacts. Next is facilitating public participation. Baseline studies are often conducted in consultation with stakeholders and public and this process can help increase the awareness and understanding of the project's potential impacts. Next is meeting regulatory requirements. As these studies should be able to meet specific regulatory requirements, a weak baseline study can result in delays or rejection of the project. Now, let's understand the various types of baseline studies involved in the EI process. The study typically includes collecting and analyzing data on various aspects. These include the physical environment baseline study. This involves the collection and analysis of data on the physical aspects of the environment such as topography, geology, hydrology, soil, air quality and climate. Next is biological environment based studies. This study involves the collection and analysis of data on the biological aspects of the environment. Next is social and cultural environment based studies. This involves the collection and analysis of data on the social and cultural aspects of the environment. Next is economic environment based studies. This involves the collection and analysis of data on the financial aspects of the environment. Next is land use and land baseline study. This involves the collection and analysis of data on the land use and land cover of the project area including any changes that have occurred over time. Next is water quality and quantity baseline study. This study involves collecting and analyzing data on the quality and quantity of surface water and groundwater in the project area. Next is noise and vibration based studies. This involves collecting and analyzing data on the existing noise and vibration levels of the project area. The last is air quality baseline study which involves collecting and analyzing data on the existing air quality of the project area including concentration of pollutants and their sources. Now a good baseline survey is the foundation of an EIA report as it will help establish the identity of a project at the time of EIA by identifying the affected communities and their status and providing yardstick for impact prediction. Both project proponents and the consultants must possess first-hand knowledge of site constraints, site conditions, location and status of sensitive receivers, etc. It is therefore recommended that a person looking for environmental clearance or conducting a baseline study should seek experts' advice or consultation. COBIS can assist your project with all the requirements of environmental clearance. So, if you are are looking for assistance with the legalities and compliance contact our experts from the details below so that was all for this video like and share if you found this video helpful also you can subscribe to our channel till then thank you for watching